So exactly, what is that in that, particular? That's a camera. I, I know that's a camera. It's a little it's a, thing. It's a, it's a DJI Osmo Pocket. DJI really? Osmo Pocket? Osmo Pocket. As in it wow. should fit in your pocket? Yes. I have an iPhone. It doesn't do that. I have an iThing. An iThing, yeah. yeah. I got an iPad, which we, can't, we can't figure okay. it out yet. <laughs> Welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. It's your <laughs> weekly freak show here yeah, on bad. Renegade Radio, Renegade. as well as, uh, speaking of Apple, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you're listening to us, YouTube. It's the Dark Mark Show. I'm Dark Mark, the goth comedian. Unfortunately, the chair to me is empty because uh, ha- uh, the it just flipped over for some reason. I was going to say, is it, we're, we're, we're celebrating genteel passage. Yes. Uh, uh, well, Green lining. Yeah, Hannah is, uh, <laughs> Hannah, uh, Hannah uh, my usual co-host, is not here today. Hannah was doing an impersonation of me, usually running late. Right. So we've you switched. Too, huh? Yeah, oh, we've, we've switched roles today. So Hannah can, can be late. It's okay if we are late. It's not okay if our periods are late. Uh, okay? Right. Now, uh, by the way, that's, uh, all that sassy talk was courtesy of Rotten Kitty. Hi, kids. And we love Rotten Kitty. Uh, oh, stop. And comedian, actress, burlesque dancer, musician, I'm finding out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I went on your MySpace page, all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, that's what I do. I, you that? know what? I, I was surprised when you'd sent me that link. Cause I was uh, First off, uh, sorry, I don't know what's on there. It's, uh, it's I, years I old. That's I terrible. Do, yeah. that, is, that is really scary. Yeah, that's where I pulled the picture from. That's, that's, a, that's a scary thought. And I think I actually met this guy on MySpace really? back in the day. MySpace, oh, yeah. Here he is. Ooh. I mean, uh, I got to... I got to... Uh, adjust this camera for a second. Yeah, because I'm probably, you know, reflecting too much here. No, 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 it's not that. It's just uh, I. No, there's uh, no reflection. I want to make sure to see what I'm what I'm doing, but uh, that, <laughs> when does that ever stop me? Exactly, <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's Cleve Hall talking. Mm-hmm. And as I said, I, I met you back in the MySpace days. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, uh, while I do this with the camera and Cleve, as you know, Monster Man, Sci-Fi, Monster Maker. We got all sorts of stuff to talk about. There's a lot of things I'm finding out about you that I didn't know before. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, and plenty you're not going to find out too. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> we, uh, but anyway, well, no, uh, I have a broken self-edit, as I said. So. No, no, that, that, and that's good. Uh, but let me tell you something, uh, Kitty. The hmm. the best Halloween parties in town. I've been to quite a few of those. There he is. There he is, Monster hey. Man, Cleve Hall at Cleve Hall's house. He spares Ooh. no expense. Real yeah, quick, our, <laughs> real quick, our sponsors go to audibletrial.com forward slash DMS for uh, audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. I'm talking too fast again. Oh, yeah, I'm going to remember that. He's yeah. trying to squeeze it all in. <laughs> trying to squeeze it all in. Yeah. Uh, you get a free book, f- two free Audible originals, including the Alien 3 written by William Gibson and uh, a 30-day trial to Audible. Go to Doomy's Home Cooking if you're in L.A. Doomy! Culver City yeah. or Toronto, the best you vegan go. food you've ever had. You know Phil, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, this is... Uh, I, I, you have been called the goth Mr. Rogers. Yeah, that, well, that's because um, I uh, my TV show, Monster Man on Sci-Fi Channel, one of the weird things about it was that all these kids started watching it, and they're really into it. And I go to a lot of conventions, not so many now, but like for a couple of years it was every weekend, right. all over the country. And I would meet these wonderful kids who come up, and they're so smart and so talented. They, a little seven-year-old girl in Pittsburgh brings us evil clown puppet she was she had sculpted and cast herself seven years old and it was crude but i got this you know seven years old with her hands well, that's and great. to me inspiring a new generation of children to create art with their hands and to love monsters is the best legacy you could leave but um i've now got all these kid fans and stuff so it's kind of like i'm the goth mr rogers and right. I think every that's kid so should cool. have a role model who drives who wears eyeliner and drives a hearse in my opinion, I've seen the yeah. hearse. I, oh, I you see the it. new I'll buy one. into that. I saw well, the new one. You, 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 yeah, you were working now. on it. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Well, it's. I'm just about to paint it. It's running now. It's getting it to stop. That's the issue. <laughs> you know. So I'm doing the rear brakes now. But yeah, it's almost there. It's right. 90, it's a 1961 SNS Victoria. Her name Ooh. is Ursula. I was just going to ask you what's oh, her she's name. Gorgeous. She's beautiful. Do the hearses have to have a name? Yeah. Yes. No, they don't have to, but they just they I get them. Yeah, should. I don't know one that doesn't have a name. Like Lydia, you know, she has Dusty and all. Of, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, I, uh, and you also won uh, uh, Emmy Awards, I think, for Yo Gabba Gabba? I, yeah. So, no, I didn't win it. I got nominated for it, but the uh, summer 
games, Pan Am Summer Games or something, won people jumping around in unitards, uh, excuse me, yeah. won over Yo Gabba Gabba, but that's okay. It was nice You just wanted nominated. an excuse to say the word tard in any form that you could. Yeah, that's yeah. not okay, But Cleve. just go half tard. Yeah. yeah, you can go yes. full tard, half tard. You just can't say. Depends on the time of day for me. You can't say yeah. tard again. I know, I'm, I'm not being politically correct. Now, how, now when you showed up at the Emmys, how, uh, how did, what was oh, the I reaction? Oh, I didn't go show up. I, uh, I didn't go. I, I was, that was in New York, I think. It's just, it cost a ton of money to go to that. Right. Yeah, no, it's like I would have had to know I was winning <laughs> before I would show up in that and say, exactly. if nobody wants a camera to flick over to my disappointed look. <laughs> I know, know. That'd, be, that'd, be, yeah. that'd, be, that'd be quite a meme, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know, it would have been cool stuff, but yeah, it was, it was extremely expensive to go to the Emmys. You know. Right. Uh, I was reading now, uh, you're from Florida, which I didn't know. Yes, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Now, mm. is, is this lore or is this real? On Wikipedia, it says you live right next to a graveyard. Not only did we live next to the graveyard, we owned it. Uh, the oh, Riverside you, Memorial Park, yeah, it's a huge cemetery, very pretty. You're, very friend, nice you're from a family of morticians. No, we just owned the cemetery. We weren't really morticians. <laughs> just um, enthusiasts. Uh, my great grandfather had built it and uh, drained the whole area because if you know anything about Florida, you go down one deep, you're in the water. Oh, sure. Uh, so they drained the whole area. Everything is a beautiful cemetery, beautiful statues from Italy, and I have a family crypt there, which you know my, everybody's in. And there's, my plan there is, whenever I kick it, is I'm going to knock out the wall. And there's a little wall between partition between two of them. I'm going to have a double wide coffin. You know, and I'm going to have <laughs> nice. passion of lovers playing on nonstop loop. Mm -hmm. You know from Oh, and then um, the epitaph, fuck them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> you know, that's, that's my plan. Yeah, well, that, that's a good plan. Well, it's, it's, yeah. it's, nice to have, uh, it's nice to have connections. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, it helps to be a member of the, you know, yeah, the group. I don't think For, Forrest Lawn will let you do that or wherever no, else. No, 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 no. But, uh, and uh, I also, because I, uh, I was not aware of a lot of stuff, and I've, uh, I've been researching. I just... I just knew he was the creepy guy at the goth club for a first time. Yeah, I kind of And then it's like, no, that's Monster Man. And then I, I, I found out about the series and saw out what you did. I don't and make a big deal out of things because I, I kind of like don't like tooting my own horn. It's can, just can I, funny. Can I toot your horn? I, I was excited because I saw in association with your name this afternoon – Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's, yeah what's the story? Yeah, well, I beat you to it. Hi, yeah, fourth wall. <laughs> no, that was wonderful. Uh, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, it was like, um, that was Tim Burton's first film, and yeah. uh, that was like 1985, I believe, and they were looking for the scene at the end with the Chase Suits, uh, Warner Brothers, looking for a Godzilla-like suit, and uh, I think Steve Johnson told them, uh, well, I know somebody's got one, you know, me, and he referred him to me, and then they said, well, we need another one, a flying creature, and I said, well, I've got a King Ghidorah suit also, because these were back in Florida, I had made these when I was younger, right. so I had them shipped out, and I played Godzilla, could have died that day, and I would not have cared because I've been stomping on tanks, fighting King Ghidra, and running into Twisted Sister's car. Right. And it's one of being a Godzilla on screen. You know, that's a huge, I love Godzilla, in case you have not noticed. Oh, no, that's fine with me. Love him. You know, it's like, well, let, let me ask you a question because yeah. I've, I've asked this uh, of a couple other guests that are big Godzilla fans. Why can't America make a decent Godzilla movie? I like movie? the new one. I, I haven't the seen one, the new one. I haven't seen the new one. The new one. one's good. I mean, the story-wise, it's like, then that's what the critics are panning it for, is like this um, human story is just kind of lame, and it's not the greatest. It could have been better, but who cares? You want to see monsters open a can of whoop ass on each other. Right. Right. And that's what this film has. And it has Godzilla, it has Mothra, right. Rodan, and King Ghidorah in it. You know, the big four big favorites. Okay. Just to see them done, and see Godzilla get that respect, it's important. So Plus, they, fi they finally did it right. Well, the big thing about this one is that the um, Brad McCreary did score to it, but he used the original themes from Akira Ifuku Bay, which is part of the thing of Godzilla. It's like no other character in popular characters probably is recognized by his theme song as maybe James Bond would be the only other one. <laughs> or it's Batman. Godzilla. When yeah. you hear that music, yeah. you know, you know it's a Godzilla. You know, mm -hmm. and to hear that music again, okay, I cried. <laughs> I lost yeah. it. I'm all teared up in there when he showed when they started playing that music because it's beautiful. You know, Fuku Bay was a genius and stuff. Right. And he created Godzilla's roar also by just rubbing a like a resin coated glove across the contrabass strings and got that. Oh, sound. is that what it was? Yep. That's okay. how he got the weird noise. Wow. But, you know, there's just there's magic in those films. It's like whenever the Egyptians showed the old films or the old Hammer movies mm. or the old Edgar Allan Poe's with Vincent Price, there's magic in those movies that will never be repeated. Right. You see them again on a big screen and hear the pops and stuff with the soundtrack. And stuff, that just takes me back to my youth growing up in Jacksonville at the Murray Hill Theater every weekend watching these movies. And right. That's, you know, they're wonderful. And you had built the Godzilla suit for what? Well, the first Godzilla, well, that Godzilla suit was actually the third one I'd done. The first one I did in 76 was as an amateur. I 
had gotten, in, I was doing stop motion animation first, doing little models and stuff, and I was really into that and the whole Ray okay. Harryhausen thing. Yeah. And I was in high school, and I went, uh, my best friend, the late Steve Sleep, he and I used to every day go home from um, school and build stuff and animate them in the garage. And then one day we decided to build, a, using those techniques, build a big suit. So we did a Godzilla, won a costume contest at a convention in Houston, then took flag over Texas, wanted one, and I've been, that was, a, I think I was still a junior in high school, and I was already doing this stuff. Right. And the right. one that's in Pee Wee is the third one I had made because that one we did a sculpted head and everything and got it right. And then uh, then the King Ghidorah, we used those actually, we did like a show with a symphony orchestra in Jacksonville. They did a Star Wars concert and we right. had the monsters show up and they did music to that. I think Holst the Planets and we did our on stage monster fight with explosions and stuff. Those were the days. It was fun stuff. Uh, like, well, as soon as you said Holst the Planets, I always I know, yeah. I know. Look, yeah. look, look at that smile. Look at that. I, I do love classical. Me you too. should know yeah. this about me. Holst the Planets, and then Adams is a, a U.S. composer, and he actually had written Pluto after the planet. Anyway, yeah. it, it, you don't need to know this. You can look but at we it. Also no, we like to, I like to use Prokofiev's uh, Enemy Gods, yeah. which is a great one for a monster brawl. You know. uh, right. But yeah, we did that, and then uh, I had them stored, actually. After I left L.A., I had them stored at the museum, the planetarium that we used to perform at, because we used to do cosmic concerts, mm -hmm. you know, every three shows every weekend or every Friday night and Saturday night, and those were great because we do live uh, black light puppetry, all kinds of stuff in a planetarium right. with the stuff projected, spin the stars real fast so you get people to throw up, and play That's rock music and stuff. Yeah. It was great, yeah. yeah, and it was fun and stuff. And I created those shows. I loved doing those. It was very, it was each one was like forty minutes long and it had like four sections in it. We'd end off with a giant puppet at the end, like five operators, like Chernobog from Night on Ball Mountain, and end with that. That was our little fright music uh, show. And we did those before, you know, I got out to L.A. and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to become, get in, learn all these professional things and what they're doing out here. Well, because everything I made back in Jacksonville was made out of mattress foam. What I got found out when I got here and yeah. opened my book the first day was, oh, you do foam fabrication. Bam, I was hired. I did not know it was considered a specialty out here, and that's what I've been doing now for 40 years is fabricating things out of foam, yeah. you know, and it's which, it's which is which, the same thing, right? Yeah, it is. It's like two of it. It used to be the foam gods with the back in the eighties when every, there was so much work. Right. Now there's about two of us left. Bill Bryan and I still doing it. You know, yeah, Robert well, Miller. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll talk about the CGI and all that. Yeah, the CGI thing. Yeah, right. I am not. I'm, I'm going to be have to be honest, and I, I know I've said this before, but uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of CGI. I no. think there's there's a, a romance in puppeteering and puppet strings. There's something about if, having if, it there live for one thing, but yeah. here's yeah. my take on it. If you're it. stuck in the, a good storyline, it doesn't matter. CGI to me is a good enhancement for a practical effect, but should never replace it. And mm -hmm. because what that does is it takes out the how do they do that aspect and that takes out the magic. Right. And that's yeah. it. Because like, I think of Valley of Guanji when the, giant, the cowboys are roping the Tyrannosaurus, the old Harryhausen film in sure. the 60s. Yeah. That's beautiful. You just don't even know where the real rope ended and the fake animated one lit, ended up. It was just amazing how he did that and stuff. You're so right. ensconced and, in the story. You just, yeah. yeah. I don't love that. Well, it has a dimension that uh, CJ doesn't quite have yet. Yeah. Although, I mean, you know, it's. They're getting close. Getting close Legendary's but... done some good stuff. I mean, it depends. Like the, the uh, Spider-Man 2, the Doc Ock Spider-Man fight is amazing yeah. because it has impact and it has weight. So many things that are CGI, like that 2005 King Kong, he's flying all over the place. Like right. He's weightless, yeah. you know, and sliding around on the ice on his butt. Oh, cutesy. That's not Kong. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, just uh, the Clash of the Titans remake was really good. Like those cra those big crabs or whatever they you know when they smashed stuff you almost felt the shaking you know? I don't know I, 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 I love agree with the that. original I the original's fun. Okay, to be the fair fun. I didn't Harry see Housen. the new one so I have yeah. to be fair I did not you see, see it. the it's new good. one it's got some really good stuff well you, you know but you're the expert you know better than I do but well that you, one wasn't one of Harryhausen's best I mean that was his last film yeah I'm a big Harryhausen I, I love how you said it. you're like it wasn't Harryhausen's best well it wasn't because he did it from um MGM and all the other ones had been for Columbia and all the Sinbad, Seven Forge of Sinbad and all the really classic ones. Oh, I love Sinbad. Yeah. That and uh, Jason and the Argonauts. The ones yeah. he had done then, Valley of Guanji and First Men in the Moon. And so yeah. when he did Clash of the Titans, it's kind of a mess because it mixes so many different myths together. Because yeah. uh, first of all, Pegasus did not fight uh, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Peg uh, right, right, right. Uh, the guy. Yeah. The Perseus. Perseus. Yeah, Perseus. yeah no, it actually was... Uh, Keep thinking Harry Pegasus, Hamlin. Uh, when, yeah, you know, Harry Hamlin with a term. <laughs> that was weird. That big close up of his face. Yeah. No, he fought the Chimera with Bellerophon. Right. And um, Perseus had little wing shoes, but I guess that wouldn't have been as interesting. See, but, but they, at least they Archimedes dropped Bubo. And I don't even know how they did Archimedes, and that was like the cutest you little. You mean Bubo? The was it owl? Bubo? Yeah. Yeah, Bubo. Yeah. I'm but, mixing yeah. up my owls. Well, that yeah. was like, that was thrown in to be like an R2D2 
thing back in the 70s one, right. but they make a joke about it in the new one. Oh, do they? Oh, they pick him up and say, don't bring that, it's worthless. <laughs> it well, I, I, have a, I, I have a soft spot for Clash of the Titans because for some reason when I was like, I think sixth grade, because we were studying mythology, like we, they, they show yeah. Clash of the Titans in class. <laughs> yeah. And there's like, you know, boobs and stuff. And everybody was just, you know, just about ready to, uh, you know, just prepubescent and really like, uh, when the boobs came on screen, everybody started. We, oh, right. We That's the one boobs. person that showed rear. Yeah, well. I yeah, I think there's a little. We, we had an edit. Too. Too. A little hiney, too. I we think. had yeah. like overprotective parents, well, so they all like pre-edited the uh, Well, they slunk it the in there very subtly. They had her getting out of the bath and Judy Balker from the back. Yeah. In the original, yeah. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't uh, censor this. So oh. it was really weird. Yeah. So when t- I don't always agree that crack kills. It depends what kind yeah, of crack. Yeah, no, it's fine. You know, I hammer did it. I mean, look at their hammer and their cleavage. You know, it was like, I, like, saw, I, was, I saw some crack coming down here. Somebody, yeah, you know, well, like their sweatpants were real, real, real. Uh, sorry, like, I'll, I'll, I'll pull them. I'll pull no, not you. Sorry. No, no, this is on, this is on, uh, on uh, yeah, just driving here. Uh, when you show up in the Godzilla outfit, what does uh, Tim Burton think? Oh, um, he loved it, absolutely. Uh, in fact, well, he liked the way I looked for, because I had my goth hawk up and all that stuff when I got there. Oh, the goth hawk. Yeah. And um, he put, actually, in the film, if you, right before the Godzilla scene, the first shot of his foot hitting the tank, there's two cuts of the of the sleigh, or no, it's not the sleigh yet. It's the, uh, yeah, I think it's the sleigh. Yeah, the sleigh and the boat going by. And you see me on the right-hand side as myself. Right. And he just stuck me in the scene. Oh, that's but, right. You were, like, one of the bikers or something? Or, or? No, I was just one of the, I was a guy standing there talking right. to somebody in the right. as a background oh, okay. extra, you know, just because he liked, would that, would that he be liked the way I looked, you know. Would that be considered an Easter egg? I guess. I don't know. Depending yeah, on, depending on who's me, watching. It's, it's, it's on your IMDb uh, as uncredited. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it says a uh, biker thing. I'm not one of the bikers. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I, I am know, Godzilla on that. But, yeah. Now, that was fun because we shot the scene over it, and I ran into a wall at the end of it. And then, uh, I guess, D. Snyder found out that Godzilla was going to be in it, wanted to be in it, so they redid it <laughs> with yeah. him. Yeah. And... Uh, he that was good. He was very, very cool. Yeah, at, at that at that point, whatever D. Snyder says, D. Snyder. D. Yeah. Snyder's cool. He's very underrated. No, no, singer. he seems he like is. he'd yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like him a lot. That's but his great. his thing at the P when the PRMC thing sure. uh, testified is amazing. No, no, he's great. He's yeah, great. it's a chipper. No, he, he's an under he's an underrated singer. But at that point, yeah. he was like. That's when he was at his peak. Yeah, he was he was, great. was pre- very polite, very hilarious. You know? Pre pre leader of the pack. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's when that. I, that. I I think polite is definitely underrated. Well, it's not something like uh, you know like Marilyn Manson, somebody who's like whenever yeah. he's yeah. in soul, he's got somebody. I've seen him on Bill Maher's or whatever. Some Christian person who would not let him get a word in, and he would just very politely finally said, you know, like I've read the Bible, I've also read the Cat in the Hat. I thought both were good books. <laughs> and that was just a very polite response, you know, nothing insulting. And actually, uh, speaking of Dee Snyder uh, and being uh, the horror movie from the official. He's big with the Strange, Strange Land. That's a great movie. Is is underrated and very yeah, influential. Very cool. There's I, no saw without Strange Land. Right. That, yeah, I was very squeamish because it's very much a modern primitive thing, you know. But that's that was the it's torture porn and saw were basically born yeah. from that movie. I do like saw. It's had some fun stuff. Yeah. I like the two of them actually because the second one kind of answers a lot of questions from the first one and had right. a nice ending to it. Right. Or there was a third one, but it got no. No, there's like it. ten of them. Oh, really? Another yeah, you, franchise? You, yeah, uh, the, uh, Saw 3D, Carrie always comes back. But now, I, I'm not I, the biggest, now, I will say, I'm not the biggest thing on Blood and Gore. It does and, pay the rent. And by the way, they're going to reboot Saw, uh, yeah, and yeah. Chris Rock is writing and directing it. Okay, I love Chris Rock, but yeah. when they say reboot Saw, didn't Saw just What's start? What's the difference between a reboot and a remake? I know, so did Cabin Fever, and they've already rebooted No, they just it. did They did Jigsaw, and okay. that yeah. failed. So now they're going to do a, no, a reboot of the reboot. So I think, uh, is, is a reboot just... Basically taking what exists and then just and building it on it, and a remake yeah, is like, like no, we really think a lot of ourselves. A remake, a remake, yeah. a remake is like we're doing the same plot. We're one remake. A, re- yeah. a reboot is Amps we're kind of doing the same plot, but it's a little different. Well, they can't, did that with Friday the Thirteenth, and it was really bad. Is, isn't there? Is, can't we just decide that we should be original? I, like, like we're going back. To, I think that's a good idea. I like it. I like, like, it. like reboot is like we're going back to one. Like Batman Begins is a reboot. Which uh, is like, why Royale's do we... Oh, right, right, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, this is like somebody who has a serious ego problem that's like, no, no, I think my vision should hold the day. I yeah. think the world needs to see my Well, that's what Chris vision. Rock... Chris Rock's like, I, everybody needs I'll to see my I'll let him do song. whatever he wants well, to I'll do. Well, there's one that, yeah. like... Um, I guess Dawn of the Dead was a remake in a way, but that was amazing. That I love the remake of Dawn of the Dead. But that was a remake. That wasn't like... Original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I it, love that it, film. It, I think uh, I would say probably... I like it just as much as the original. At least as yeah. much as yeah. it, yeah. That was, was one the, one of few. That was a rare occasion where yeah. that was think, very good. 
was it Dawn of the Dead? It was either the, the remake Dawn, Dawn of the, the Dead Mall. or Dawn of the Dead 2. And I remember they were supposed to have some big outdoor scene. And I was working at Playmates of Hollywood at the time. And a casting oh, agent. Really? Yeah, yeah, a casting yeah. agent came in and offered us, hey, would you basically, would you like to be extras in Dawn of the Dead? Well. Yeah. At the time, I knew very little about horror or anything like that. And all I kept thinking, I looked at the address on the sheet and it was like, way out in in mm. further than I had ever driven before. And mm-hmm. I just, I looked at my gal pal at the time. I was like, well, do you want to come with me? And the guy looked at me and goes, no, no, just you. Uh-huh. Uh. And I thought, ah, uh, I just, I freaked out. And I was like, I can't do that drive by myself. And then my friend got pissed because she didn't, she wanted mm. to do it. She knew, they wanted right. she wanted right. to be in Bruce Campbell movie. And I just, I just didn't, I was too scared. I was just too. Bruce too Campbell, so you're talking about Evil Dead. Was it Evil Dead? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably Evil Dead. Yeah. Because that, well, yeah, the third one was shot here. Uh, that was Army of Darkness. I did Army the horse's armor on that. You want to know something? I do that all the time, especially with Seven and, and 12 Monkeys, and I'll say Seven Monkeys. Well, that's and fine. No, get, it's yeah. just like, yeah, Return of the so, Living Dead. So you, you could have yeah. been, been one of the uh, in Army of Darkness. I Well, it, it may have been Evil Dead. Or whatever. Well, that's the third Evil Dead movie. This Universal released it, and they didn't want to use that name, so they used Army of Darkness. Was that instead. what it was? Yeah. Well, all, all I knew was that it was it was it's some, some well, big get, outdoor you, you scene. You must get this all the time, guys. Oh, well, yeah. Like, we, want you, we want you for this movie. Um, It's not always a movie. Or, I'm her, sure. I'm her. sure it's not. Uh, but you've done some acting. I've done some. Uh, yeah. A long, well, it was like I started as a, a child actor. I had like a Super Bowl commercial. and well, I didn't know this. Yeah. I, I peaked it at two. Really? Yeah. What was a Super Bowl this commercial? It was all downhill. <laughs> I think it was for Alcoa Tinfoil. So that's uh, wow. Yeah. That really dates you. No, you're older than I thought. I know. I know. Cool. I was a baby. I was a <laughs> baby. Oh, the commercials. They spent so much money on those. They right. did, and it's funny because yeah. like when you get your 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 yearly statement every year, your like social security yeah. statement, it shows these like two years where I made. Bank, yeah, and yeah. then just years and years and years of just—I guess I must have been in public school. Do I don't you, know. Do you, do you still get residuals? Uh, I no, I don't think so. No. Okay. I, mean, I don't think they're airing that commercial. I mean, really, is yeah. there anything like other the than Reynolds Windows commercials with a, like the one where the guy sitting in front of the mouse hole yeah. and then the rat guy in a rat bad rat costume right. pounds through the wall and starts beating the crap out of him? I thought right. that was just genius. that was great. Simply genius. We we had submitted. A, so you were a, a child actor. Yeah, that might explain the damage, but that, we that had explains a, a lot. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, there's, not, there's nothing to apologize about. <laughs> yeah, no. that explains why. That explains why I I, I uh, texted you yesterday like you want to come on the show. You're like, yeah, why not? Yeah, because I was a child actor. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, fabulous. The attention. You love well, the attention. Well, you know what? It, it, I think I think it's because you're you're excited at the fact that I'm sometimes available at the drop of a hat, so I can, <laughs> I can sometimes. Yeah. 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 It's it's so because I'm so in demand. Oh well, you are. You well, you are. You well, are. Yeah. Well, I should say spontaneous. Well, you you doing? I am you're, so not spontaneous. Well, I'm spontaneous. No, I have like I think that my uh, somebody had bought me a, a, a refrigerator. Magnet said, "Plan to be spontaneous oh, tomorrow." That's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's... My thing is just, uh, just I say yes before I talk myself out of things. Right. So, oh, so you're a yes people, person, and, and that's why well, that's why I'm glad I'm you're here. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I know, I know, I know my guests. People are like, "How do you get these great guests?" I'm like, "I, I, I, I just it's timing. Nice I know when to, I know when to get them." But uh, was Reanimator one of the first movies you ever worked on? Oh no, no, no. Um, the first movie I ever did was um, Nightmare, which was very well became well known because. Um, uh, the it was credited to Tom Savini for the effects, and right. he didn't do it, so he sued him. So they had to take his name off, and everybody's well, who did all this? And it was me. And I was doing it in Florida at the time. Must, uh, that film we shot down in um, uh, uh, Cocoa Beach, you know, near Cape. Well, that's Manhattan. gotta be flattering at the that time. Was it was kind of cool, yeah. And it was a very bloody film, very fun. And then I ended up doing the um, uh, Blu-ray when it came out, doing the commentary, and it just bagged on everything. <laughs> I like doing commentaries. Um, no, that was the first one. Uh, Reanimator was something, and it had already been shooting, and we were I was working with Charlie Band at the time doing Troll and Eliminators and Zone Troopers and all these films that were yeah, going to shoot in Italy. I, yeah. I, I, I saw Troll. But not Troll was on Troll, last night. Troll oh, really? or Troll 2? The Troll, Troll, Troll 2 is not the, really the, the, the Sonny Bono. Sonny is so sweet. Yeah, He's so cool. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Julie Lee Dreyfus, yeah, Michael Moriarty, Troll. Yeah, I yeah, just realized Sonny Bono's in Airplane. Airplane yeah. 2. Not yeah, airplane. Was it Airplane 2? Yeah. Airplane yeah. 2, not the, not the original. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Christopher Lee's in 79. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, that. so so you're doing, you, you did a bunch of movies in Italy. Yeah, right? well, the thing was, we had, uh, uh, we were working on those, and then um, Charlie picked up Reanimator and uh, put up the completion funds for it, so we came in and we shot that entire hospital ending 
in four days right before Christmas. And we were doing 20 hour days and stuff, and it was just nuts. Um, I can we imagine. We were delirious by the. Yeah, I wouldn't even go home. I'd just go over to like the club and then come back and pick yeah. up where I left off, mm. you know. Yeah, we were delusional. Right. Yeah. Well, it was the 80s, too. And so. then there was the, the dead cat scene, you know, which we had to redo the dead cat that somebody else had done. And uh, there was three of us under the table, uh, John Woolwich and Gino Cardinale and I, and we had our monitor to look at, and we were watching the Three Stooges at the time and just up there <laughs> using yeah. the Captain Kangaroo School of Puppeteering. <laughs> you know, okay, <laughs> bam, 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 okay. Yeah. And it's still such a fun film. I had not, I had not read a script. Well, I, I love Reanimator. Yeah, yeah, I made that, you know, worth my head, and it was like I didn't know what it was supposed to do right. until I got to the set. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, that was a fun one, though. I mean, it's, I did not realize it was a comedy because I had never even heard of that, and I'm a big Lovecraft fan. And I finally found the Herbert West stories, and they're actually funny. Lovecraft actually knew how to write a funny story. Right. Uh, I thought it was just funny. It's, it's, it's an interesting sense of humor, it's, but yes. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But, um, I mean, that's like just a classic. They at least have not rebooted that. You know? Right. But, yeah, that was wonderful to work on. And I was, yeah. I was uh, when I was doing my research, I was, I was uh, very surprised – not surprised, but I was like, uh, you've worked with Devo a lot. Devo, yeah, they're I love great. Devo. Oh, wow. I, fucking, I love Devo, too. And Mark's such a... They're all cool. But, yeah, they wrote Did a Did you design their outfits for, like, the comeback? I didn't design the outfits. They had a design or something. I made them. Uh, the, the blue uh, ones the, with the thing, the, yeah. yeah, kind of bluish white things on their faces. Yeah. Anyway, what we did do was the silver faces for the video for the monster, and they wrote a song about me. So this Aww. is why I say, and nobody told me that they'd done this. And they're filming me at the time for my show, and I start hearing it. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. And I'm listening to the lyrics, and I'm thinking, they're thinking about me. And I start crying. I'm like, get the cameras oh, off me. Get the cameras so off me. That was so touching. Devo wrote wonderful. a song about you. That's amazing. What, I have no bucket song? list. I have no bucket list. Monster Man. Monster Man. Really? Yeah, and I'm in the video. It's me in the goth Zilla suit fighting Devo Man, which was Michael Sue. He was a Power Rangers stunt guy. <laughs> and he and I met fighting on a pilot uh, called monster smash and we had such an instinct for being in these big kaiju suits <laughs> and going at it that they we fought all of our fights together and so when i we were doing i gotta watch this video in. it was fun yeah doing the fight but what, what did you meet mark and the guys um let's see the first well the first time i met him was back on captain eo back at the party <gasps> uh, i think he came with uh, tony basil Ca captain eo the the, 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 the disneyland thing did you work on that no but my friend did so we went to the party okay together, all right and that's when i met him the first time but when i first, first started working on him I, it's hard to say um, 2011 maybe or something i think they'd come out with it was when they did the blue thing, right? You know, right. The, the bluish kind of look, right? Because uh, they've been a and you had and you had Monster Man on the air at the time. No, not oh, yet. Or was after, oh, or you were. Oh, no, I hadn't done that yet. Okay. Yeah, because um, I've been I do stuff for like like for Gene Simmons, I do his armor. Yeah, I was um, gonna say you've worked with a lot of time. different uh, saying Bossy. Yeah, ICP, yeah. which still owes me money. Um, <laughs> you know, hey guys, really? pay yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, Alice Cooper, I got to redo his Cyclops. Stuff. There's been a lot of really cool ones. Uh, Tenacious D done a lot of stuff for them. Oh, that's I get these little sketches, you know, on a like, napkin. like the whole devil costume and stuff. Is yeah, that... actually, it was like uh, we did a mushroom for I think it was in the movie they used that in Bigfoot, and there was this. Uh, oh yeah, there, a wizard, a lizard costume for Kyle because they made a mistake and it was supposed to be a wizard. Right. And he came out looking like a lizard. <laughs> They're funny, you know, and just yeah. but oh, and the metal was one of the big ones. There, right. It was basically yeah. it was a rock'em sock'em robot. Inspired by the door from Labyrinth is how I designed it. Ah, yeah. So these people just just, just give you an abstract idea like that, and you're something like, something like that. It. They'll yeah. give me a drawing on a napkin. That's, yeah. nice. that's Jack's usual thing. Also, we do his outfits like when he goes to a premiere or something. Like he wanted for was it Tropic Thunder? He wanted something that was like he was in a thunder suit and his wife is in a tropic suit, which was all bananas and stuff. Oh, that's great. And we did that and airbrushed like lightning on his jacket and stuff. And yeah, he he's seems cool. like he'd that's be a hilarious. really good sport. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's cool. And you know, it was. Uh, I actually saw a. Uh, uh, just this is a. This is a really horrible segue. I saw a Devo burlesque show once. <sighs> and you've done burlesque. Were you in that no, one? No, I've done. I've hosted burlesque. I just let you tell people I'm a burlesque dancer because it makes me sound so much you cooler never than I am. You never danced burlesque? Not publicly. No. You sure? No, I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. You were telling me like Paris is like, oh, I can't believe I've seen you with clothes on. No, that was different. That was at a photo shoot. We were okay. P the reason that Parrish had had was surprised that he had seen me with clothes on because we were in his garage right. shooting this like, it was supposed to be this really bloody, gory. It was I think it was white. Par Parrish trash. is the club promoter. I know Cleve knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was essentially like a white trash murder scene. So mm -hmm. I think it was. 
Parrish and Melody Gore and I, yeah, and we yeah. were we were his victims, and we were all chained up in his garage, yeah, and the lighting was one. yeah. And Karen Shaw was was t- taking the photography, and we just got all these really like gnarly. Ble- it, I mean, if you didn't know that we were laughing the whole time, you would think something seriously hard. Like MySpace yeah. kept taking the photos down right. just because they were like, you know, basically we're. And MySpace t- took nothing down. No, we got we got. Um, I I don't know if they did, but I know that I got in for it. Like it notices that they down. were gonna like let law right. enforcement know that we had committed some heinous crime, and then. We decided. Oh well. You think? Yeah. No. Nobody's. Yeah. Nobody's hurt. I'm still here. I'm sure people yeah. would have wished I was murdered in Parrish's garage, but no, sure. I'm still here. Yeah. Well. Parrish is a different guy when he takes his boots off and he's like five nine. <laughs> <He's, laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like I don't know if you yeah, know this. Like Parrish has the most amazing. I, f- I forget what kind of car it is, but oh, it, it is, is it is amazing. the most amazing. And he keeps it in such amazing mm-hmm. ping condition. Mm-hmm. It's it's admirable. I've spoken to his mechanic. He's, yeah. He takes very, very yeah, good care of his car. Right. Yeah. But uh, so, Monster Man was you and you and your family. Yeah, me and my family. And, and how and how did that affect your family though? Oh, made him a bunch of greedy assholes. No, no, <laughs> not really. No, that was it, nothing really because it, it doesn't affect us. Um, I, I don't know. I, it just doesn't. I never noticed I mean, it's, even it's, the it, cameras there. Really, that never bothered me. I would not even. I could just not even zone them out. But the problem was the sound. That guy knew everything about us because we forgot we had these little mics on. And she, oh my God, he heard things. Yeah, he's like, yeah, well, Sonia, she's trying to figure out if she's out of range yet. Uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> Hill's trying to plan and murder everybody, and <laughs> ain't got anything wrong with you yet? Really, honestly, who isn't cool. trying to plan a murder? Yeah. So, yeah. so this one wasn't bullshit. It wasn't like uh, you guys. They gave you the script, and you guys. No, well, it. yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes they did. did but, well, yeah. like for the interview sections, you know, that was most of that script. But there's certain things in there, and I'm, I'm, I think contractually, I'm safe now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did not die in the Devo episode. I did not die. You know, they edited you didn't, you it. You didn't it die. Seem like, well, Devo killed you in like the it. episode. No, I'm in the monster suit, and I fall down, and they're saying, "Oh my god, he can't breathe and stuff." He just no. Cut to commercial what break. What really happened was I was I tripped on my tail. And fell over, and I thought, hey, I haven't been off my feet in 24 hours. I'm just going to lay here a few <laughs> minutes while they get the shot ready, and I'm all comfortable in my suit. And, all, and yeah, they came back, and I saw the episode, and people are like, what's that uh, thing that people res- blog or whatever plot to um, get go get something or other? Get glue. It's just people th- are crying. Like, they think I'm. I'm. They think it was sh- like happening right then and there. Yeah, like, yeah this but if, was if shot six months ago, yeah. I'm if you're a celebrity and people think you've died, yeah. you get that extra bump. Yeah, so but you I can, couldn't. You can come yeah, out say and anything tell because died. I was contractually. I couldn't say this is all bullshit or anything. Yeah, yeah. The reality in terms of reality television has a whole different def- definition. Now, when it comes to the interview parts, the first episode, I argue it must have taken nine hours to do that episode because I argued everything. This is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. By the end of it, I learned to choose my battles. And when something was incredibly <laughs> stupid, I would just let it go and I could do, you know, like two episodes in 90 minutes. Right. Bam, i just go through that because I knew how to do the parlay that they like, you know. Challenge accepted. Yeah, <laughs> that whole thing, yeah. Yeah, just see that little light come on. I can yeah. be dead tired and stuff that light comes on. I'm bing, okay, here we go. Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah, and hit, listen to a little Snake River conspiracy and get into you know character and. Go there you go. Yeah. I haven't yeah. heard yeah. somebody mention Snake River conspiracy. I love in a Vulcan. While. Yeah, no, that's something like that. That's the stuff I listen to on the way to court in the morning. So I'm really right. aggressive, I s- you know. I swear, I can't believe. I don't know how you guys have never met. I don't know because you guys surprised. have the same. Because I'm very shy and I don't talk to people usually. Yeah, you guys that, have the same circle the same. friends, yeah. Yeah. and I'm sure you've been in the same place at the same time. Probably. She said yeah. she, you may have gone into her store once or twice. That's yeah. possible. Possible, but uh, God, you know, I wish. I didn't have a show to go to. I wish we had a whole hour, but uh, you very exciting news. You're you're working on more films than ever, and you're doing a lot of stuff right now. It's been a good year, yeah. You just uh, did a thing for, and you didn't think you could talk about it, but the yeah, I was under today. a non-disclosure agreement on this one. Um, we did it in February, but um, they at Comic Con they dropped the trailer to it, and that's the new Jane Silent Bob reboot. Right, and oh. I can now um, I have some actually footage I'll hand you that um, back behind the scenes of the suit. I did Iron Bob, which is Silent Bob as Iron Man, wow. and he's yes. the mall security guard. <laughs> yes, and, and he comes out and um, is kicking butt in the thing. That was crazy. Um, and yeah, there's been a lot of crazy things recently. I was gonna say that's a lot of iron, but he's lost all yeah. the weight. No, it was great. Plus, I did. Uh, Mark Hamill has this. Uh, you know how he had the big fist and Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Wasn't it a big cock? 
No, he had a big fist. No, you oh, just think right. everything's no, a cock. No, but cock. he has a cock laser. He has a cock laser. Mark is so Freudian. Everything's a cock No, no, no. He had a cock like a lightsaber. Yeah, his new glove, though, is an infinity glove. Ah. So, yeah, I did that one for him. And, it was yeah. a gauntlet. Yeah. And then just a bunch of other stuff. I just got back from Atlanta. Actually, we were doing an R.L. Stein film, which the name of which I cannot Ooh. remember. But we did a blob for it, and this is Robert Kurtzman and I. Um, he has a shop in Atlanta, and I've known him since 85. He's excellent. He used to be the KFK in BFX, and he has his own shop now, and I right. love working with him. Um, we also do the Kevin Smith stuff. But, yeah, I just did this blob for him. It, was, it came out really cool because, once again, it was a creature that had no real design to start with. It was something we kind of created as we went and developed, and it came out really cool. Plus, it had all these bladders and bulges and things breathing and stuff, which were whoopee cushions with tubes going in them. And was it for the, nice the Goosebumps um, franchise? This is before Goosebumps. He wrote some more adult things. Okay. And it's Fear, Fear, not from the Goosebumps. Right, not Fear Street. It's uh, Yeah, yeah, that thing. Is that was it? Fear Street? Yeah, he had another... Like Fear Street was like supposed to be like when you outgrew go- Goosebumps. Okay. Three yeah. Three There's three films that have been done, I guess, based on those, and this is from one of those. Okay. Okay. I love Creature that in this is such an educational show. It yes. really has been. Mm-hmm. But Cleve, uh, I, w- I really want you to come back soon, and I'm going to hit you up with uh, a little more notice. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> well, next time maybe my band will, band's going to be back in town uh, and playing West Coast in – uh, I was going to say, Nam. yeah, because yeah. I've, I've heard your band. You, you played at your Halloween yeah, party. Yeah, with Earn. Yeah. Oh. Earn. He plays keyboards. Yeah, this is, a, this is a ex-members of uh, Electric Hellfire Club, who now have the band Earn, and they'd been together for quite a while, and then they needed a keyboardist, and I'd gone to talk to them about doing a video for them and ended up becoming their keyboardist because I just yeah. love the music and everything. And the, I have a video I'll give you, if you can show a clip from it, but it's just like this sure. one. We had all this planned for the video that day, and we was going to shoot it all outside and stuff. Dumped rain. Totally <laughs> dumped. So we shot it in my living room. So it looked a little different than we'd planned on, but it was right. fun to do. And I, and then I hadn't played since uh, got back in '86 with Exquisite Corpse. I, was, I had Screaming Mad George, Sean right. Brennan, and John Woolish with me. It was like an effects band almost. And we'd do live on stage disembowelments and everything else. But you know, I remember opening for Specimen on Halloween night at Scream. That's great. Yeah. Great days. Oh. Wonderful days. I, we got to talk about that. When Ern is yeah. back in town, we got to have you back. Yeah. In. I think Hannah back wants in to. Room. Hannah wants to. Hannah's so bummed that she missed you. And like I say, you've got all sorts of stories. We could yeah. talk. We could talk all night. How do people get a hold of you, Cleve? If you want, usually people. if they grab me around the middle is the best place. <laughs> yeah, um, like social media go, wise. Go on my Facebook. Uh, yeah. That's the only one I've actually kind of figured out. I don't Twitter because I at 144 characters, I'm just getting wound up. You know, See, <laughs> like, yeah, as, I look as at you've that seen, as a challenge. Yeah. I yeah. love Twitter. Yeah, I, I can't do Twitter, but and on Instagram, I think I have three or four photos. I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, I do yeah. Facebook. Just Cleve Cleve Hall Cleve because Hall. they shut me down. You know. I had oh, you too? Ten, ten, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Chick, you yeah. Know, with no explanation, could not even talk to a human being about it. I bitched and whined and I threatened. <laughs> the, you know what? It, it, you, when you find no, that no. you're just arguing with artificial intelligence, yeah, then yeah. you're like, never mind, I'll just create another. Uh, and I'm, on another, another I'm on another 25 then, day suspension. I can't send oh, really? any requests. Right. Oh, mine is and, like, you know, I've got, I'm back up to maybe like 4,000 fans. But, you know, it's like mine blew up to 5,000 in a week when my show aired. Yeah. And then, you know, and I have fan pages, but I don't know how to do those. And, and you, you know, you. You make yourself up to look older anyway. You don't need that face app shit. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> what is that about? That's that's a Russian, Russian app. Russian, that, Russian counterintelligence. I've heard about that, but for me, I can just see, I put in that face app thing, and come back, and it comes, gives me a skull. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, thanks. No, I don't need to see this, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to see. I, I don't yeah. need a preview. I don't uh, need a preview. No. I can count the rings as it is now. Oh, I don't. So, uh, I, uh, I don't. I don't. Need a preview? Yeah, I just turned sixty last week. And wow, I was like, you look great. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. I, I Happy tried birthday. It. But yeah, Happy birthday. I thank you. Uh, but it's just it's just weird, you know. There's a big six in your head, and you're like, Rrr. you know, and thinking, but you're still full of energy, and and falling apart. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've always been felt young and felt like I mean, my taste hasn't changed everything like I did in the '80s, you know, which was the greatest decade on earth, by the way. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, but you know, just there was that's when I got into the goth thing. I've been since '83 doing this, and yeah. you know now. Well, you're, 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 like the, you're like the goth Mr. It's Rogers. A, you donate. Yeah, and my family, our fam- yeah. our house is, a, you know, this is a, it's a very inspirational to me. The whole goth, goth community and the goth scene has been very inspirational to my work and my life. And I'm, you know. Yeah. Because it's not a phase. It's a lifestyle. It, it is, exactly. For, for, the, for the three of us, absolutely. And yeah. you want to give back. And that's why I started the Dark Angels LA, which is my charity thing. of made up goth. And, like, we did uh, handed out 10,000 turkeys at 
uh, Thanksgiving to the poor, and they were like oh. seven o'clock in the morning. You know, and Charlie was there, and um, we yeah. Were, yeah, we were handing out these turkeys, and these people coming up getting them from vampires at seven o'clock in the morning. I love and, it. But well, they great. loved it, and this okay. was in downtown LA and everything. But it was so cool, and it was we couldn't lift our arms the next day. We hand, <laughs> those turkeys were so heavy. Right. But the thing is, that a lot of celebrities. Charlie, were Charlie there. Janelle. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she she can lift them. Yeah, she's yeah, she, 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 yeah, she's got she's. You she, know, you know Charlie. She, do, I mean, I mean Charlie. Charlie. She was on, she was on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah she, she, she's she's, she's pretty, she's pretty buff. She can handle. Oh yeah, she does. But she, uh, we, because uh, a lot of the celebrities that were there, and the mayor and everything else, as soon as the cameras left, they left. Yeah. You know, and I, I, it was just some of us left to hand the stuff out still. And there was still right. a lot of it. And we just kept going till like 10 o'clock at night handing it to the And, and what is the charity again? That's, uh, that was uh, Dark Angels LA. Dark Angels LA. Yeah. Is it still going? Yeah, I'm still, it, I don't have enough time to do everything right. myself. So I just need more lieutenants out there, you know, kind of, because I'll get, I'm very much the shiny object person. Right. I see something over here. Oh, you know, and I get on that and I'm working on that. And I right. realize I didn't get back to this thing that I was doing before. So that's why I was like, don't ever right. interrupt me because I will not finish what i started right yeah. I, I hate to interrupt you now but rotten kitty uh you'll be playing uh the midsummer's night variety show i am with me on that'll be july 27th july it's 27. a saturday cool. evening please come, please uh, if you're not doing anything cleve come down okay we'll both yeah. be performing we got uh all sorts of uh, great stuff uh, shall Jack- i apologize in advance jacqueline Go von right bierk i do it too jacqueline from von bierk from auto's daughter is performing mm-hmm. we've got uh we've got kicks rebellion we have uh uh, Danger Steve's going to be doing some That's stuff. Sweet. Michael Vile is going to be a fun job. Nice. It'll be like the old Vampire Bazaar used to be. The yeah. Bazaar Vampire Bazaar used to be so wonderful. And they It'll be a it. fun subculture variety mm. show. And how do know. people get a hold of you and uh, put your face on FaceApp and well, see what you'll look like in a I was going to say, years. don't do not do like you do with Cleve. Do not grab me. <laughs> right. That's... <laughs> right, right. Um, I uh, made that mistake. Yeah, no. Uh, you can find me at Rod and Kitty on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I think I'm... MySpace? Probably, yeah, probably still on MySpace. Um, I, uh, um, yeah, and then I'll be yeah, I'll be it. at the the Midsummer thing on on July twenty seventh. I'll be performing at the Five Star Bar on August fifth. That's a Monday. Yeah, and the Van Nuys Comedy Club on August tenth, a Saturday. Oh wow! So you have no excuse not to come and see me. Exactly. Come see me, please. Come see me. I'm so lonely. Come yes. see me. Please. Kitty Cleve, thank you for coming thank down. You. Everybody have a wonderfully creepy week. Bye. Bye. Bye.